Topic 16.5, working backward. Uh, this is a fun lesson. Uh, so you've always solved problems and you end up with a solution or an answer. In today's lesson, what you're going to do is you're going to actually have to work backward from an answer to find a starting point or some missing information. I think you'll enjoy the lesson. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a scenario. And... I really want you to have a piece of scratch paper and a pencil or pen to see if you can work this out before I go over how you do it. Okay, so pause the recording here. Go get you a piece of paper and a pencil. I'll wait. Go. I'm talking to you. All right, so I'm assuming you get some paper uh, and you're ready to listen to this scenario. Let's just say I am going on a trip tomorrow. And my flight, let's say I'm taking a flight to New Orleans, and the flight leaves at 9 a.m., okay, and I, and I got to arrive at the airport two hours early for check-in, just to be on the safe side, and it's going to take me about 90 minutes to get down there to the airport. I'm going to stop, maybe Chick-fil-A, get a little breakfast, we'll say that's going to take 30 minutes. And me getting up and dressed is going to take about 30 minutes. So, here's my question to you. What time should I set my alarm clock for? Okay, I want you to kind of work that out. You may have to rewind that listen to this scenario again. Uh, write down your work and see if you can come up with an answer. And we'll go over that. Go ahead and pause the recording now. Alright, so hopefully you have your own answer. Hey, tell you what. Take that scratch piece of paper that you did your work on it and turn it into my basket um, in the morning and I'll get that back to you later on with a little smiley face on it. All right, so let's just kind of take a look at this um, problem. Okay, what information did I give you for the problem? I basically told you my flight time, right? Okay, so my flight time was, what, 9 a.m.? And then I also told you my check-in time. I wanted, uh, what, two hours to check in, two hours prior. So what that's two hours before that would be two hours prior. So arriving early. So what does that put me at? That puts me at 7 o'clock a.m. And then to drive to the airport, it's going to take me to drive that. Whoops. Is going to take me about an about ninety minutes, so that's an hour and thirty minutes. So that is going to put me at let's see, seven minus the one would be six o'clock minus another thirty. Oh my goodness, five thirty to drive there. So now we're at five thirty. Then I want a breakfast. Love me that Chick Fil A breakfast. We we're going to budget about 30 minutes for that, so let's take off 30 minutes there. Ooh, that has us now at 5 o'clock. Tell you what, I'm going to take that 5 o'clock and move it to the top for the next slide, and we'll keep counting backwards because we are working backward. So let's go ahead and put that 5 o'clock here. So we're at 5 o'clock, and then it's going to take me about 30 minutes to um, get up and ready. So that's 30 minutes there. Holy cow. I have got to set my alarm clock for 4.30 tomorrow morning. So, yes, so that's the time that I'm going to want to set my alarm clock for, for the final one. So we went ahead and figured out all these things that we had to do and worked backwards from the solution. So to catch my 9 o'clock flight... With everything I want to accomplish, I'm going to have to get up at 4.30. So don't forget to turn your scratch paper in. I have a couple of working backward problems over here for you. Alright, so get that turned in and I will see you soon enough.